MG Rob back with you. It is now Friday morning. I have a couple hours I can work this morning and then I have tomorrow to be ready to go. So today I'm going to be working on putting the rear end together. So one of the things I still need to do is modify my studs for the one side. I've got half of them done. I need to do the other half now. On the hubs, they have a taper on the edge here where the original stud goes in and seats there. Well, the studs that I found, which are from like a Chevy van, aren't like that. Since I don't have a lathe to work with here, just use my uh, drill press. I don't need to have this very tight as long as you don't put too much pressure on that at one time. And just file it. Just being careful not to dig into the shank of the stud there. There, I got the taper. Then the next thing we'll do is check it back up again. And I already marked a line here of how deep I want to go to take off the fluting here. And then go back and do the same thing again. And I just work that shoulder until it'll slide through the axle just like that. And I know I'm good to go. Now these serrations or flutes or, or whatever you want to call them on these studs are a little bit bigger than on the original studs. So I actually had reamed out these holes from half inch to 17 30 seconds. So now we got to do now is just press them in. If these were a little bit closer fit, I could just drive them in with a hammer, but they're a little bit on the tight side, so I'm using my press. So now I just gotta do the other three. Well, I'm out of time for the day. I did get the new pinion seal put in, got the pumpkin in the rear end, and I spent way more time than I would like to of trying to get all these studs exactly square with each other so that the axle would slide in smooth enough that it would seat properly against the hub because these things are bad enough about leaking anyway. You want that thing to sit nice and tight against the hub so you don't have any leaks or vibrations. But that's what happens when you're trying to make things work that don't actually belong on your car. You know, modifications take extra time. So, tomorrow is my last day, but at least I have all day tomorrow. I still got to put the brakes on here, run all the brake lines, still modify the lower shock mount mounting pads to accept the shocks that I have on the car, and uh, still got a laundry list of things I'd like to do, but more than likely I won't be able to get done, but we'll see how far we get tomorrow. It's MG Rob.
Later.